So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what you should look for in a jet ski trailer. Uh, I bought this with a buddy of mine in 2013 or 2014, it's now 2017. So we've owned it for probably, man, maybe three years or so. And there's some features that when we first bought it, I think we paid about $2,600 for it. And when we first bought it, I thought that it was super expensive and it was a waste of money. If you can see, it has custom aluminum wheels, it's got oversized tires. It's like pretty much the nicest jet ski trailer you can buy. So I thought I'd make a video for somebody else uh, that's looking to buy a jet ski trailer on what to look for because it turns out that a few of these features have been very, very useful and have made our trips much, much more enjoyable. And when there's a difference of only $500 between this and some other type of trailer, it makes a huge difference uh, to get these things. And if I had it to do over again, I would definitely spend the extra money. So let's hop into it and let me show you, first of all, my absolute favorite thing on this jet ski trailer. And if I ever buy another jet ski trailer or boat trailer, I would never purchase one uh, without these. These are built-in retractable uh, ratchet straps. And so the way that they work is you load the ski just like any other straps. Instead of having to carry straps or have a, uh, a tow bin like on the on the um, in the back of your truck or on the actual tongue of the trailer and hook them here, these are mounted permanently. They never leave. You never have to carry anything, and they're very secure. They work excellent. And um, at first, I thought this was a stupid option to pay several hundred dollars extra to get these, but it turns out that these things are absolutely amazing. Your uh, ramp times are much quicker, um, it's easier, less hassle, and they don't come loose like the other traditional straps because there's only one hook instead of having a hook vertically and, or um, a hook top and bottom. This is permanently mounted and they work awesome. The second thing that's been a huge, huge, huge advantage is having uh, frame mounted trailer wiring. So all the tra trailer wiring, let me go to the tongue so you can see. All the trailer wiring <coughs> goes through this grommet here and everything is mounted inside the frame rails. So <coughs> in the three years that we've owned this thing, it has LED lights, right? So it has parking lights on the side, turn signals, brake lights. These lights have never had a single issue, which is the only trailer I've ever owned that doesn't have it, uh, like an issue with a wire coming loose or some type of a light going out. These LED lights have been awesome. They come with rubber grommets. Um, there's also drain holes on the bottom of this thing. Triton did an amazing job with this trailer. Uh, you know, you know all the usual stuff like that it's aluminum, so if you go to salt water, it's not gonna corrode and all this kind of shit. But the basic trailer, which is like $1,800 instead of 2,600, doesn't come with these aluminum wheels and tires. These are oversized tires. I think we've had to put air in these maybe twice in the three years that we've owned it. Never an issue. And the other benefit to these uh, oversized tires and wheels is the fact that highway speed is like maneuverability and uh, just stability at high speeds. I mean, you can do 85, 90 with this thing, fully loaded, two skis on it, no issue whatsoever. The other jet ski trailers that I've used in the past that had wider, shorter tires, I don't know if you can see the profile there very well, um, they tend to, you know, wander a little bit at high speed. This thing is awesome. Um, trying to think, there was a couple other major things that were different. The other thing that I like about this is that it has cable straps in the front. Inst I'm sorry, um, it's a nylon flat rope cable instead of a stainless steel metal cable. And there's two advantages to this. One of the skis has a different mounting point or a, a different mounting hook in the front of the hole. And the major advantage to this is you don't scratch the shit out of your stuff when you leave one of these dangling. And when you do have a ski that's not yours or you wanna transport something else um, that you're not used to transporting and has a funky like uh, hook attachment in the front of the hole, you can easily you know, wrap this guy around there or use any configuration you want and it's very adaptable. The cables, I had a lot of trouble with those and the biggest thing that I didn't like about the cables is after you use them for a while, you get um, metal splinters in your hands, right? And so that's awful. These things, never had an issue. You can pull on them, you can touch them, you don't have to wear gloves, none of that crazy stuff. Some of this stuff you probably already know, but just thought I would do a recap. Um, if I were to buy a jet ski trailer again, I would definitely spend you know, the extra money uh, and get a nicer one like this. The, you probably already know, but just to make sure, this has torsion suspension. So much, much better than a leaf spring suspension and a lot less bounce like at high speeds on the highway. So if you're doing coast to coast travel or if you live inland and you're going to the beach, definitely uh, a much nicer ride. 
And as you can see, it's held up really beautifully. I just washed it up and it looks awesome for being three years old. It actually looks brand new. Uh, and I would highly recommend this for anybody that's looking for, you know, like stainless steel versus aluminum. Um, go for the extra package, you know, where they put the ratchet straps in the back and all that kind of stuff. So hope that helps. If anybody else has any experiences out there with the dual axle version of this, please comment below in the YouTube video. And let me know what you think.